My second Halloween video of the year. But for this Halloween video, I'm going to be dressing as Ducky from Pretty in Pink. I personally really like the character Ducky. I have a fondness towards him and his style, and I just feel like he's one of the coolest characters. As a fan of really weird styles, I thought I would do his style today. You'll notice that uh, I do both male and female characters in my videos uh, for Halloween, and that's because I don't really give a shit about uh, gender roles, so we're just gonna dress whatever we want, so, you know. All of the clothing in this video I either already had or I bought from a thrift store. Most money that I spent was on the accessories, so I will tell you in the video where I got each from, and I'll put links in the description. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you next time. Happy hauntings! The outfit I based my costume on is actually this one. This is from the first scene Ducky was in. It's kind of different, but it works. The sports coat is from a Goodwill. It's just a brown sports coat that I got in the men's section. After looking at several pictures, I realized he has a like star brooch on. I just got this one from my mom. She had it in her collection of pins. And I also had this pin from one of my sister's plays. And I made the patch out of some felt that I just sewed onto the jacket so that it could look like his patch. Yeah. This vest isn't exactly like his, but I found it at Goodwill and it was a gray color. His is a brownish color, but I thought this would do because I couldn't find any other vests that would do. So yeah, got that. For the collared shirt, I couldn't find any floral shirts, so I just grabbed this like striped brown and white shirt. It will do. It's just like a little bit that's showing anyway, so it's great. And once again, we're going to be using my knee-high socks, or my almost knee-high socks, because he has like bunched up socks that go over his pants. <laughs> For the accessories, I got this bullhead bolo tie from eBay. It was around $10, that's plus shipping and handling. So I think it was a good find. I don't know, it looks just like his. The hat is actually one of my great-grandfather's hats. It's just a pork pie black hat that I stuck a piece of paper in because he has a piece of paper in his. I'm sure you can find this online. It's really easy to find. No ducky costume would ever be complete without the circle glasses, which I got from Spirit of Halloween. And last, but definitely not least, is the shoes. I use my Creepers. These are just like off-brand Creepers that I got from Amazon. They're really cheap and they'll do for the costume. I love them. Of course, for pants, I just wore some black skinny jeans and I put the socks over top of them so that they look all bunched up. It looks kind of weird, but that's the style, I swear, that's what he wore. <laughs> For the jacket, you're going to want to roll up the sleeves. It kind of took me a while, so I kind of sped it up a bit. But you're going to want the shirt over top of the jacket, like, rolled up. Since I do have short hair, this is fairly easy for me. Um, I just brushed it all up to the top and I just pinned it back so that it looked like Ducky's hair. If you have shorter hair, you could actually do his hair. Or if you have longer hair, you could just tie it up in a bun and hide it under the hat. Do whatever you want. And that is the whole costume. You can dance, do whatever you want. Obviously dance better than I did, but uh, yeah. Just have fun in it. And happy hauntings. See you guys later. Bye. Yo, man, next time I kick your ass, that'll be that.
That, I'm just kidding. That's it's a joke. <laughs> How about that stock market? You know?